Hello everyone and welcome to this presentation uh, presented to you by Speed Training and USANA which we're titling The Science of Supplements, What Every Youth Athlete Needs to Know. So my name is Richard Bucciarelli and you can see uh, some of my uh, sort of history and background as a uh, sports scientist, uh, strength and conditioning coach, and uh, also some of my involvement a little bit more in nutrition. And I'm going to be presenting along with my colleague and my great friend, uh, Elisa Gracci, who is a nutrition professional and works uh, directly with uh, USANA. So USANA is a, a pretty amazing uh, company uh, which has uh, several amazing products and uh, one of the things that, that really drew me and, and, and my own uh, company and, and my practice you know, to, to want to work with them was the, uh, the connection that, that the company has, that USANA has with many of the world's best athletes. So um, uh, without me speaking about it too much, we'll uh, take some time here just to watch this video which uh, will explain uh, and, and showcase a little bit of, the, uh, of that connection uh, between USANA and elite uh, international and professional athletes. So we'll watch that right now. All right. So if uh, if that doesn't make you uh, want to, uh, to to learn more about about Usana and, and the way that it can help you uh, as an athlete uh, with your sport performance, then then I don't know what will. But uh, you know, hopefully we'll uh, we'll continue the discussion as we go forward. This is a nice uh, slide here that just shows several of the different again uh, professional as well as national and international uh, uh, athletic and sporting associations and clubs who are uh, utilizing uh, USANA and their products. And, uh, of course, we've got uh, in the bottom corner there, we've got Speed Training as well, which is a company that's also connected with them now too. So uh, what are we going to talk about today? We're going to start uh, uh, in, in, in my section initially to discuss different nutritional supplements which can improve athletic performance uh, which have been proven uh, uh, to improve athletic performance. And we'll go through some of the science and the empirical evidence about it. And we're going to uh, kind of uh, discuss these supplements uh, within the framework of, of the following four questions. Uh, and we'll kind of go you know, in order uh, systematically to look at each one of them. Uh, the first question being, are they safe? Is it safe? If we're talking about a, a supplement, and again, you know, in the context of athletes and even of youth athletes, uh, safety has to be the primary concern. So certainly uh, if the answer to is it safe or are they safe, if, if the answer is not yes, then you know, the discussion pretty much ends there. So are they safe? Uh, uh, from there, then again, because we're speaking about athletes, we have to be very conscious with is it legal? Are they legal? Are they uh, accepted? 
uh, for athletes to take based on some of the different anti-doping agencies and, and, and organizations that govern competitive sport. And, and we're going to speak a little bit about the World Anti-Doping Agency or WADA uh, and then some of the other um, more local and, 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 and regional associations. But again, if the answer is not yes to is it safe, and then if the answer is, is not yes to is it legal, then, then you know, the discussion stops there. We cannot discuss any athlete uh, taking a supplement that's not safe, nor can we discuss an athlete taking a supplement that's not legal. Finally, once those are out of the way, we're going to look at, well, does it work? Do they work? Does the supplement actually have uh, a proven demonstrable effect? In improving performance recovery or both and then we'll get into just just a little bit you know we won't take uh, too long with it but a little bit about how do they work so that's the next you know kind of the final question uh, if it works yes well how does it work and from there then uh, I'll uh, pass the baton to uh, Elisa uh, who's gonna uh, you know kind of tie this all together to USANA specifically and the specific USANA products which contain these ingredients and then you know, understanding that there are products that contain them, the final question is, well, why USANA? Why use, why use them for supplements with these ingredients in them as opposed to other products? And there's some excellent reasons why, uh, but uh, that'll be uh, more for, for Elisa to elaborate on. So let's go ahead and, and have a look at the best choices for supplements based on the evidence. And, and, and they're listed here. Uh, we start with caffeine. Uh, which we're going to speak about in a few minutes as our first supplement. Then we'll talk about glucosamine. Uh, we'll move on to talk about coenzyme Q10. Uh, then we'll move to nitric oxide and alpha lipoic acid and how those two uh, molecules are combined uh, and, and uh, related to each other as a supplement. And finally, we'll talk about electrolytes. Okay, so let's get started by speaking about caffeine. First of all, and again, this is our kind of order of operations for this presentation, is it safe? So the answer is in small doses, absolutely. Okay, uh, we'll speak about these doses uh, which are normalized or relative to body weight, and that's a good way to think about, um, you know, caffeine consumption or, or consumption of anything, really, uh, because rather than saying, well, you know, a certain amount, an absolute amount is okay, uh, it's a little more um, uh, relevant to normalize to body weight because a heavier individual can typically handle uh, a higher dose of, of anything, including caffeine, than a lighter individual can. So uh, what are the doses that are very, very clearly uh, proven to be safe? One to four milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight per day. And uh, that's been shown over and over again to be safe and, and, and that there are no adverse effects to it. And, you know, we when we speak about safety of caffeine, we have to acknowledge that, that caffeine is contained in coffee and it's contained in other you know, soft drinks. And, and so uh, it's also contained in, in these doses. And, and so if it really wasn't safe uh, for caffeine to be consumed in these doses, then we'd probably have, oh, I don't know, maybe hundreds of millions, if not billions of, of, of sick people. So we know that it's safe in low doses, uh, uh, clearly. Uh, even despite the, the, the empirical evidence, there's also observational evidence that, that we know that caffeine is okay. So uh, we move on. Is it legal? Okay, yes. And this is directly from the World Anti-Doping Agency, provided that the caffeine uh, concentration works out uh, in, in a test to be less than 10 milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. And keep in mind, that's about two and a half times what's considered a small or a normal dose um, and uh, you know we'll talk in a few minutes about the the benefits to performance and so um, the the doses which are considered small doses uh, and, and are, are safe and, and are definitely legal are also uh, the doses uh, that are used with caffeine and have been demonstrated to improve performance so an athlete would technically, uh, you know, have a, a positive uh, uh, drug test for caffeine if they had 10 milligrams per kilogram uh, body weight of caffeine in their system. But the doses contained in many products, including in USANA, and the doses that have been demonstrated to improve performance are far lower than that. Uh, again, in, in the range of one to four milligrams per kilogram body weight per day. So all that is to say, is it safe? Yes. Is it legal? Yes. And this is just a, a little line here at the bottom just to give you some perspective that a cup of coffee, depending on the 
uh, uh, the type and the size and, and, and all of that can have anywhere from 50 to 120 milligrams of caffeine. And so, you know, if we do the math and we talk about perhaps a, a, a typical athlete weighing maybe, you know, if it's a man, maybe 60 to 80 kilograms, let's say, okay, uh, within the range of one uh, milligram per kilogram of body weight, you know, one cup of coffee would do it, perhaps two cups of coffee uh, you know, would, would, would be very close to between one to two uh, milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. So uh, again, it's a safe and a legal dose and, and we'll get into the, uh, the performance benefits now. So does it work? So, uh, you know, in, in, in a short answer, yes, absolutely it does. And we can see, uh, you know, some, some relatively recent uh, research and, and, and this kind of stuff has been replicated uh, even more recently than this. But, uh, um, you know, one of the reasons I chose this particular study is that Lawrence Spreet is one of the co-authors there, and, and he's a colleague and, and someone that's that's on my own uh, PhD uh, committee at the University of Guelph. So, uh, you know, his research is highlighted here. Uh, but what did they find? They found that consumption of three to six milligrams per kilogram of caffeine, and again, that's well below the, um, you know, uh, dose which would be considered uh, illegal or, or, or which would give you a positive test. Uh, that there was a, a significant increase in time to exhaustion in a, in a running test, and you can see more or less the uh, you know the uh, the bars here uh, uh, representing milligrams per kilogram body mass. So that's caffeine dose, three to six milligrams per kilogram of body mass led to a significant increase in running time to exhaustion. What does that mean in practical terms? It means if you take caffeine in that dose and then you exercise, you will take longer before you get exhausted. And that, of course, is relevant to running, but it's relevant to any other sport where if you prolong time to exhaustion, you will perform better, at least physically. And a similar uh, uh, type of effect was also demonstrated, again, also by Lawrence Spriet uh, and his team, uh, looking at a time trial performance in cycling. So, you know, it works with running. It also works with cycling. Uh, you know, what are we looking at here? We're looking at the uh, dose of caffeine here on the x-axis. Uh, the PL is just a placebo group, so they didn't take caffeine. And you can see that it took them longer, like more time to complete a time trial. Uh, a caffeine dose, which was smaller uh, than than the uh, kind of recommended uh, dose is in the middle, the, uh, the slightly darker bar, and they were significantly faster to complete the time trial. And finally, this uh, on the right, the darkest bar, which is a caffeine dose of 100 to 200 uh, uh, milligrams per kilogram, uh, which decreased the time trial even more significantly. So, um, and, and the uh, you know the take home message from this is that caffeine consumption, which is well within the safe and the legal boundaries for for sports, is uh, proven to improve performance both in running and in cycling. Uh, if you can think of this again in in layman's terms, you take caffeine before you exercise, you will perform better, you'll produce more power in your sport, and you'll also delay fatigue, which means you'll last longer. So physically, there's a very clear improvement in performance. Now, how does it work? Again, uh, this isn't a, a physiology lecture, so we'll, we'll move a little quicker with it. But the basic idea uh, in terms of how caffeine works, there's a few uh, proposed uh, uh, mechanisms of, of uh, how, it, how it functions in the body. One of them is that it increases the availability of calcium in myofibrils, which are just muscle fibers. So improved availability of calcium in the muscles themselves and calcium uh, being released into uh, uh, muscle fibers is one of the processes by which we uh, get muscle fibers to contract. And so if you get more calcium available, what that means is that muscles can now contract with a little bit more force. Uh, they can contract uh, and relax. The, the entire process becomes a bit quicker and more efficient. So that's one uh, proposed effect, which is increasing calcium availability. Um, we've got optimizing um, metabolism and, and substrate availability, and specifically the, the substrate which is uh, uh, made more available following caffeine consumption is fat or free fatty acids. So caffeine actually stimulates the release of these free fatty acids from uh, their storage as triglycerides that they get released into the bloodstream. And when you exercise, 
at low or moderate intensities, you oxidize fat, you burn fat as fuel. So when you take caffeine, you can get more mobilization or availability of these fatty acids, and therefore you have a bit more energy to perform exercise, which can delay fatigue. Uh, and finally, and this is you know perhaps maybe the most interesting uh, uh, mechanism, uh, which is that uh, caffeine stimulates the central nervous system. So this is a central mechanism rather than a peripheral mechanism. Uh, the idea being that that uh, by ingesting caffeine, you block adenosine receptors in the brain, and that means that uh, the adenosine uh, molecule uh, uh, cannot bind to its receptors. And adenosine actually is a molecule that when it does bind to its receptors, um, you can start to feel a, a bit, uh, we, we can say fatigue, but uh, also mentally fatigued, tired, um, uh, even sleepy, uh, uh, you know. So, so, so if adenosine is, is uh, its receptors are not blocked, then that means that adenosine is is sort of uh, allowed to remain in the brain. And by uh, allowing adenosine to remain in the brain, there is a, a stimulation uh, and a central uh, effect, essentially making athletes feel uh, more awake, more alert, uh, making them feel like they have more energy. And uh, you know this uh, this central effect is is really uh, you know kind of kind of an interesting one because it has nothing to do. It's not peripheral. It has nothing to do with with the muscles or with uh, you know, any type of uh, fat uh, utilization or sparing of, of, of glycogen in the muscles. It's just simply improving perception of uh, uh, not being tired, of feeling more more awake, more alert, and having more energy. And, and uh, I think anyone who's had uh, caffeine, you know, whether that's in coffee or, or tea or something like that, perhaps this may sound familiar to them. But for athletes as well, there's a significant improvement in performance um, centrally as well as peripherally. So uh, moving on from caffeine, we'll talk about our second uh, uh, supplement or ingredient here, which is glucosamine. First of all, we start with the question, is it safe? And uh, the answer is simply yes. Uh, glucosamine is not something that's ever in, in any research been shown to cause any negative or adverse side effects. So it, uh, it's, it's definitely safe. Is it legal? Yes. Again, uh, it's not banned, uh, uh, not listed on any a doping agency and partly you know the reason for that is that glucosamine is not a drug uh, uh, like caffeine in any case um, what's interesting is uh, historically uh, or in initially uh, the use of glucosamine as a supplement was combined with another uh, uh, supplement molecule called chondroitin uh, and eventually and part of this actually was the work from USANA and, and, and the scientists uh, that work with USANA themselves uh, there was a, a different ingredient called Meriva combined with glucosamine and so this is an interesting little little study here that kind of talks about does glucosamine work and, 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 and actually a study which compared the effectiveness of glucosamine uh, uh, either combined with chondroitin, uh, the kind of the older or more traditional way to use it, or glucosamine combined with Meriva, which is the uh, uh, the more modern uh, way to to use it. And what uh, what was used as outcome measures in this particular study is, uh, if you can see it just on the top, uh, table four, uh, it's this Womack score, uh, which essentially is a, a score looking at the um, overall uh, sort of uh, both social and emotional uh, response to pain and uh, uh, keeping in mind that this actual uh, study was done in patients that had and, and, and suffer from presently osteoarthritis, which is a degenerative uh, joint disease. So uh, what was found with regards to the WOMAC score was that the patients in the Meriva plus glucosamine group uh, within four months of treatment had a significantly lower score both with social functions and emotional functions in terms of their response to pain than the patients with the chondroitin plus glucosamine score. Now, if you look at those scores relative to baseline, what you'll see is that both Chondroitin and glucosamine and Meriva and glucosamine led to significant decreases in pain and also in the social and emotional response to pain. But the combination of Meriva and glucosamine was uh, showed a significantly greater decrease 
than the combination of chondroitin and glucosamine. And that's sort of why, you know, the evidence is, is, is leaning towards using Meriva instead. And that's with regards to just the pain response. But, uh, you know, pain is, is, is one thing, and it's very important with people who suffer from arthritis, but it's important in general. Beyond pain, uh, you know, the next thing to consider will be actual physical performance. And so this is just a, a simple test that was done on a treadmill. And what they looked at was distance covered at a particular treadmill speed and incline. So distance covered at a particular load. And once again, okay, if we look at the, the change relative to baseline, both types of supplementation led to a significant increase in distance covered. The Mariva group uh, uh, got up to uh, 213 meters from 85 meters, and the chondroitin group got up to 102 meters from 88 meters. So they both improved, but already, even after one month, the Meriva plus glucosamine group improved more. And that uh, a greater improvement in the Meriva group continued in the two-month uh, uh, time following baseline and even in the four-month time following baseline. So what's the message? that glucosamine combined with Meriva uh, significantly decreases pain, swelling, soreness, even the emotional factors regarding uh, pain, but also improves physical performance and it improves it better uh, than chondroitin combined with glucosamine. So that's the, you know, the sort of the summary there of the evidence. Okay, and then, you know, if we want to look at how does glucosamine work? Well, it's simply a molecule that is used by the body itself uh, to help produce other uh, chemicals and molecules that help to strengthen tendons, ligaments, cartilage, and uh, the synovial fluid, which is, uh, you know, not water exactly, but it's a fluid that surrounds joints. So, so to, working together, glucosamine uh, uh, and, and, and the other molecules that it synthesizes help to strengthen ligaments, bones, and joints. And uh, of course, it's very relevant for people that have arthritis, but it's also relevant for anyone else, athletes that are exercising a lot that tend to get a lot of uh, load on the tendons, uh, joints, and ligaments, and, and, and are also vulnerable to wear and tear. So uh, we'll move on to our third ingredient, which is coenzyme Q10. Okay, uh, And we start by asking the question, is it safe? And the answer is, well, this is an enzyme that occurs naturally in the body. So yes, absolutely, it's safe. It's been known for a long time. Is it legal? Yes, again, uh, it's not, uh, and, and, and nor has it ever been uh, considered a banned substance. It is, as I said, something that occurs naturally in the body as well. Does it work? So now we look at some of the evidence to, 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 to investigate the effects of supplementation. And actually, before we do that, we have to talk uh, a little bit about you know, kind of what happens to coenzyme Q10 levels in the body as we age. So it's a nice little little graph that paints this picture for us. On the x-axis, we have age from zero all the way to age 80. And uh, on the y-axis, we have the, the, the content of coenzyme Q10 in some specific but key uh, uh, organs in the body, uh, the heart, the liver, the kidney. And what you can see very clearly is that in, in, in all three of these uh, organs, especially though in, in, the, in the kidney, in the heart and to a lesser extent in the liver but you know there's a there's a significant rise in coenzyme q10 levels throughout adolescence peaking at around age 20 and then a, a, a just as a steep of a, of a drop or a decrease in coenzyme q10 levels uh, you know from age 20 onward and and you know um, a fairly uh, a steep uh, decline uh, all the way through to you know old age beyond age 50 60 and so on and so why is this important well it's important because we know now that coenzyme Q10 levels, uh, you know, are, are very high uh, w when we're younger, and then they're going to drop fairly significantly when we're not, and so that kind of speaks to the importance of supplementation. So now we look at, you know, does it work, and 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 you know, what's the evidence of supplementation itself? So what we found here was that with supplementation of coenzyme Q10, uh, uh, as compared to placebo groups that there were significantly lower, uh, this is an acronym, M-A-C-E, which are a significantly lower incidence of major adverse cardiovascular effects. And that's kind of a, it's a bit of, a, of an umbrella term that includes things like uh, a heart attack, a myocardial infarction, uh, stroke, which is uh, an occlusion or an infarction uh, of blood uh, in, in an artery uh, leading to the brain, uh, as well as 
uh, heart uh, failure. So a significantly lower incidence of these major adverse cardiovascular effects. And also, right, on the right, uh, uh, that coenzyme Q10 supplementation also led to a significant decrease in all-cause mortality. That means all-cause death due to cardiovascular disease. So simply put, coenzyme Q10 supplementation prevents heart disease and prevents death from heart disease. So, you know, does it work? Absolutely. Yes, it does. Okay. Um, this is just another uh, study looking at a, 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 a population of, it was a rat model, but a population where, where, where the rats uh, uh, had, had Parkinson's disease. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, what did we see here? That, that, that the administration of this coenzyme Q10 supplementation uh, actually increased the function of the brain. Okay, so that's neuroprotection, uh, uh, healthier uh, brain cells following this supplementation in rats that already had uh, Parkinson's disease. And so, again, um, you know, the, uh, uh, the, the long-term health of several organs, we talked about the heart, we talked about the kidney. Here, this is looking at the brain. Coenzyme Q10, uh, uh, you know, has a, dem a demonstrable uh, effect in, in improving the function of all of these organs. So, uh, you know, that's uh, kind of, you know, the answer to does it work? It does. How does it work? Okay. So, again, we said that it naturally decreases with age. So, the idea is not to stop or prevent the decrease completely, but, you know, to attenuate it with supplementation. Okay. So, you attenuate the decrease. And what that means is, if you can imagine, you know, that, that first curve that we saw where, where, you know, it was sloping downward, rather than allowing it to continue to just slope downward from age 30, 40 onward, you can attenuate. You can slow down the decrease and keep uh, coenzyme Q10 levels a bit higher, which end up leading to healthier organs, healthier heart, healthier, uh, you know, uh, kidneys, uh, healthier brain, etc. Okay. So we move on to nitric oxide and alpha uh, lipoic acid, uh, and the acronyms there would be NO and ALA. We'll speak about them a bit more. Okay, so is it safe? So in small doses, and you're going to see this acronym uh, PPM, it's parts per million. Um, in those doses, uh, you know, nitric oxide is safe, absolutely. Uh, Higher doses, you know, may not be safe, but you know these are the small doses, and these are the doses that are typically contained in supplements for that reason. So, is it safe? Yes, in those doses. Okay, is it legal? Yes, uh, it's not. Again, not a, a banned substance either. Okay. Does it work? Okay. Well, again, the answer is yes. And uh, here we have, uh, you know, just just some data to show. So, wh what we're looking at here is the uh, potentiation of nitric oxide synthesis in uh, in the aortic endothelial cells. So what does it mean? It means the the aorta first of all that's that's a major uh, artery leading directly from the heart out to to uh, arteries that that branch out throughout the entire body. Okay? And and so uh, uh, what they found here was that both uh, ascorbic acid which is vitamin C and also lipoic acid, you can see the LA here. They both increased the synthesis of nitric oxide in these uh, endothelial cells. Now, um, we'll get into it in a minute in terms of how, uh, uh, you know, these, these supplements actually work to improve performance. But, uh, you know, we should note that, that you know, the reason that, that, let's say, synthesizing more nitric oxide uh, in, in the arteries, etc., is so important is because nitric oxide is a vasodilator. And uh, again, we'll talk about it in a few minutes, but just keep that in mind that vasodilation simply means that it causes blood vessels to dilate or increase in, uh, in uh, diameter. Uh, more or less, if you can imagine a, a circle, <laughs> if a blood vessel uh, could be represented by that uh, circle, then uh, vasodilation means that the diameter of the circle increases and if that happens, then you get more blood flow. And if you get more blood flow, then you get more oxygen because blood delivers oxygen. So essentially, getting more nitric oxide or synthesizing more nitric oxide means greater vasodilation, and that means greater blood flow and greater oxygen delivery. So, you know, just keep that in mind when we're talking about that, okay, that that's the effect seen with the uh, ALA, the uh, lipoic or alpha lipoic acid, okay. 
And finally, again, NO, that's nitric oxide itself. Okay, again, it's a vasodilator. It increases blood flow by relaxing uh, blood vessels, making more uh, blood flow through them. Okay, and that, again, due to the increase in oxygen content and oxygen delivery, okay, that can enhance endurance. And that can decrease recovery time uh, in between exercise sessions as well, meaning uh, it allows athletes to recover better and recover faster from one bout of exercise to the next. And even within an exercise session, uh, again, the greater oxygen uh, delivery makes it a little bit easier to recover even between anything between sprints, between weight training bouts, uh, whatever it is. So that's specifically what nitric oxide does. Okay, and then again, uh, we're looking at alpha lipoic acid. So we know from the previous slide that that alpha lipoic acid increases the synthesis of nitric oxide, which is why you know they're kind of combined together in supplements, including with USANA. But what does it do? So it has a few uh, interesting effects, right? Uh, one of them is that it, it scavenges or, or or you know seeks out and 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 finds um, free radicals. Okay, which are uh, electrons uh, that have that have basically been been removed uh, from certain molecules, and um, uh, uh, during uh, typically this happens during exercise. It happens even when we eat, or um, uh, many different times. And so, free radicals, if they're not uh, neutralized or, or dealt with, then they can lead to something called oxidative stress. They can be added to other molecules oxidizing those molecules and causing oxidative stress and damage. So alpha lipoic acid scavenges those in order to reduce oxidative stress. Uh, it enhances the production of uh, this other molecule called glutathione, uh, which is also an antioxidant. So alpha lipoic acid itself is an antioxidant because it reduces oxidative stress, antioxidant, and it also enhances the production of this other molecule called glutathione, which is also an antioxidant, reducing oxidative stress. And finally, uh, uh, the molecule itself, alpha lipoic acid, also can bind to and can help remove uh, toxic metals in the blood, which, you know, sometimes we get a little bit of them from, from food and water and so on. So it's a powerful antioxidant in addition to potentiating, therefore increasing the synthesis of nitric oxide, which is a vasodilator. So you kind of get a antioxidant effect from it, and you also get an increased uh, um, oxygen transport and therefore increased endurance performance and, and, and delayed fatigue effect. You get both of those effects. Okay. Finally, uh, the last uh, uh, supplement ingredient that we're going to talk about are electrolytes. Okay. So, um, uh, you can see just on the picture there, you know, there's quite a few of them there. What are electrolytes exactly? Well, they are um, uh, uh, ionized uh, uh, versions of, uh, of uh, salts. Uh, so they're molecules uh, in, in the body which carry either a positive or a negative charge. And many of them are, uh, especially the ones that you see here anyway, they're, they're essential for various different uh, functions in the body, including Muscle contraction, we already mentioned calcium a little bit, uh, and we'll talk about a few other ones as well. So, you know, that's what they are. Uh, the question is, are they safe? Yes, they do exist naturally in the body. Uh, of course, they, uh, they uh, are contained in many foods. So, yes, they are safe. Uh, you know, there are uh, recommended uh, uh, quantities of things like sodium, uh, you know, in the diet. And so if you really exceed you know, the recommended uh, daily allowance or the RDA for some of them, then they can be unhealthy. But yes, they're absolutely safe. Uh, again, they exist in the body and they're in many foods. Are they legal? Yes, there is no banned uh, substance uh, or there, there is no electrolyte rather that's on a list of banned substances. So yes, they're safe. Yes, they're legal. Okay, now the question is, do they work? And there's lots of uh, excellent research looking into this. This is just one that's relatively recent. Uh, what you're looking at here is you're looking at um, lactic acid concentration on the y-axis. So uh, when athletes exercise at a high intensity, uh, uh, typically they will produce this molecule called lactic acid. It's a sign that you're exercising at a very high intensity. And uh, the idea being that if you can tolerate or, or handle the production of more lactic acid, what that means is that you are uh, basically you're performing better in your exercise because you're, you're exercising at an even higher uh, intensity and you're able to sustain it for a bit longer. So 
Um, the basic idea, uh, you know, from, from this particular uh, graph that we're looking at is that a supplementation of an exercise drink with 350 milligrams of sodium, and just try to remember that number, 350 milligrams, that that supplementation, okay, before and after uh, exercise actually led to a significantly higher level of lactic acid. So what that means is that athletes were able to perform uh, at, at a higher relative workload by using the drink than they were without it and that actually they uh, not only were there was their exercise ability improved but also they were able to significantly delay fatigue uh, you know uh, during the exercise and 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 following subsequent bouts of exercise so uh, you know yes uh, uh, electrolytes work they help you to exercise at a higher intensity and they delay uh, fatigue when you exercise okay the question is how do they work uh, the basic idea is that electrolytes in general and sodium specifically is essential for optimal muscle contraction so uh, when electrolyte levels and specifically when sodium levels get too low muscles cannot contract with the same amount of force they cannot recover as well you basically lose your ability to perform in sports uh, you know why is that so important and why is supplementation of electrolytes so important well because when you exercise at a high intensity and specifically when you sweat a lot and that's why we get to this study here, which looked at soccer players playing soccer in the heat. Okay, when you sweat a lot, you don't just lose water, you also lose sodium. And remember I said to keep in mind that number uh, on the supplement, uh, from the supplementation study in, in the last uh, slide there, 350 milligrams. Uh, that's what's used in most supplements, and we'll, you know, Elisa will speak about USANA in a few minutes. But uh, you know, typically you might see supplements that have anywhere from a few hundred, maybe one or two hundred milligrams, up to three hundred fifty or four hundred milligrams. That's what's used in a supplement. Now, what do athletes lose when they train in the heat? And, and this is a, a little table here that looked at three different professional soccer clubs and how much sodium they lost so they did sweat testing you know measuring sodium in millimoles and then they kind of translated that in terms of grams of salt or sodium lost through sweat what did they find that on average and again this is soccer players in the heat here so this is relevant to athletes that on average athletes lost five grams of sodium and keeping in mind five grams that's five thousand milligrams and the supplements themselves only have a few hundred milligrams. So, uh, you know, it's not that the supplements are there to put back everything that an athlete uses, but uh, uh, just like in the case of coenzyme Q10, attenuating the decrease uh, in, in uh, uh, you know, if we think of that concept of, you know, you're going to lose sodium when you exercise in the heat, you're going to sweat a lot, but if you take a supplement that has sodium in it, you can attenuate, slow down the drop in sodium so you don't have a decrease in performance. We already saw that by adding sodium in, exercise performance increases. By taking it away, by losing it through sweat, you can decrease performance. So the idea with supplementation is simply to attenuate the decrease, slow down the drop, okay, uh, and, and, and you don't necessarily have a decrease in performance anymore. Okay, so that concludes uh, uh, the first component to this presentation. I'm going to uh, pause briefly and then turn it over to uh, uh, my colleague and friend uh, Elisa Gracci, who's going to hopefully tie all of this information together about these proven, uh, uh, safe, legal, and effective supplements, and you know why uh, perhaps. USANA would be the best choice to get these supplements uh, if you're an athlete. Thank you, Richard, for that introduction. I'm so grateful to be here and to also share uh, the next portion of this presentation, which we're going to dive in and learn a little bit more about USANA Health Sciences. Uh, as Richard shared earlier, you know, this was uh, something that really spoke to, to us was the incredible uh, uh, myriad of athletes um, that represent and have partnered with USANA. As a matter of fact, more professional and Olympic athletes trust USANA than any other nutritional supplement in the world. And you may be asking why. Well, aside from the cutting edge science, you know, the incredible, unique 
technologies and patents, uh, the research, the tremendous amount of research uh, that goes into our formulas. Um, but it's also because we offer a very, very unique and unmatched guarantee um, that no one in the world offers. And that is our athlete guarantee. Basically, if an athlete were to ever be tested and there was some sort of connection back to us with regards to a banned substance or um, anything that would compromise their career, USANA would compensate that athlete and the team a million dollars each. Now, to me, that really represents um, the level of integrity uh, that USANA brings to the nutritional world. And of course, um, you know, this is been true that we've never had any type of issues over the years if anything our roster of athletes just continues to grow and grow and grow which is very exciting so with that being said as you probably now can understand that you know not all nutritionals and natural products are created equally there's quite a difference um, when it comes to understanding the manufacturing practices and standards, certifications and different types of testing that would go into formulating a high quality nutritional product. <clears throat> so I will share with you uh, just before we get into the incredible products and uh, the nutrients uh, that Richard so incredibly um, broke down with the science to support their benefits. Uh, but I would love to share a little bit more about sort of the history and why USANA um, stands so apart from the rest. What makes them so different and, and unique in so many different ways? Well, first off, our founder, Dr. Myron Wentz, who is really a pioneer. Um, he has a double PhD in um, microbiology and immunology. And, you know, he uh, decided to really take all of his uh, expertise and his, his background as a, as a renowned scientist, as a true cell expert, um, and bring it to the world of nutrition and health uh, sciences together. And um, this is, I think, one of the key factors that really allows USANA to shine, um, is that we are founded by a real scientist with an incredible team. We're talking, you know, over 100 scientists globally that um, represent USANA and um, you could see here that one of the quotes he's shared is that most health supplements fall very short of meeting the nutritional needs of the body's cells so as you'll learn and as you'll you know come to see that USANA is really a science-based evidence-based uh, health science company that's looking at providing the most optimal nutrition at the cellular level all right so for some of you, uh, you're probably familiar with industry standards, but we want to empower you today so that you feel confident uh, when it comes to investing in your health. And often what we've seen is that natural products, unfortunately, um, there's quite a bit of wiggle room and the uh, industry standards can fall short at times. So uh, one of the things that really stood out uh, aside from all the other things we've touched on is that USANA really goes above and beyond. Uh, often dietary supplements uh, in health, whether it's in Canada or the U.S., um, really have to meet guidelines that are, um, there's quite a quite a, an amount of tolerance and variance um, that is allocated or allowed. And with this being said, the same levels of strict safety and effectiveness requirements that drugs are put through um, are not required uh, for supplement companies, all right? So, Here's where I believe we really um, go above and beyond is that USANA has uh, you know, registered their facility uh, at a level that allows us to feel very confident knowing that they're not just meeting dietary supplement or food manufacturing practices or standards. They are meeting the same standards as you would see when a drug is manufactured, which would allow us to feel a sense of reassurance and also, like I said, confidence in when you read the label, there is an accurate breakdown as to dosing, um, medicinal ingredients, non-medicinal ingredients, any of the specific uh, nutrients that are there and ingredients that are there. Um, there is no tolerance or let's say variance. And this is important because there's a specific science that has to go into um, formulating uh, you know, 
uh, these products and if the the uh, cofactors and the dosing is inaccurate then it's likely we're not going to get the results so this is something a step that they've taken voluntarily um, to provide their you know long-standing commitment to producing the highest quality products in the world all right so some questions you may want to ask before you invest in your health is you know find out which manufacturing practices the company is following you also want to find out are they doing this themselves or are they outsourcing the entire manufacturing process uh, usana has a state-of-the-art facility that uh, all the manufacturing done is in is done in-house uh, also uh, what type of registration do they hold uh, we meet not only you know health canada and fta but of course even the tga which uh, is the australian standards um, which seems to be at this point um, the highest standard. Also, um, you know, who's behind the products? Is there real uh, research and clinical studies? Is there, um, you know, can they back it up? Is there evidence? And I think this is really important because with the really great marketing and the hypes that come and go, we want to make sure that we're not just jumping on something that's trendy or that's, um, you know, uh, currently the talk of, you know, the health and wellness world because it's popular, but more so that there's evidence and real science that can support its efficacy um, and, and the benefits and the results that you're looking for. Are they NSF certified? Now, you know, we're speaking to athletes specifically here, and because of the fact that, you know, there's a specific uh, different organizations that may require testing prior to or during uh, their athletic career, um, this is really important. You want to make sure that the um, natural products or therapeutics and supplements you're using are NSF sport certified. USANA carries three very distinguished uh, distinctive uh, certifications through the NSF, uh, and one is uh, specifically for the sports certification. Also, what type of third-party certifications do, do they offer? Does the company offer for their products? Do they regularly submit their products for independent testi testing? And uh, as we said, diligently maintain these third-party certifications. What kind of guarantees? This is really important. Ask these questions because we want you to invest, uh, get the best return on your investment. All right, so here are some uh, examples of different third-party uh, third party references and testing uh, resources and companies you may want to uh, have access to or learn about. And again, uh, this is something we're really proud of because we continue year after year to come in uh, rated and, and tested. And based on all these different third-party sources, you'll see that we are always coming in on top. All right, so just a, a little highlight again on the fact that we are meeting the highest standard and we are totally doctor approved, meaning that our products are not only included in major medical publications, but we're also uh, available through the PDR or the CPS. The PDR is the US version, uh, the ph physician's desk reference and the Canadian version would be the compendium of pharma pharmaceuticals and specialties. So again, if you're uh, curious and you want to speak to your doctor, you can let them know that. This is very unique. Oh, I touched on this already, but here you have it, our $1 million athlete guarantee, which is internationally unmatched. And again, this is why more Olympic athletes and professional athletes trust USANA to their health than any other company in the world. All right, really quickly, some of our unique innovations. We have incredible patents and innovations. Um, I'm, I, I'd love to highlight all of them, um, but we don't have the time for that. So I will do a, a, something that just kind of gives you a better understanding to our most uh, recent and most cutting edge technology, which is Inceligence. And we also have our hybrid technology, our olive oil patent, our poly C, which is a high potency blend of vitamin C, our olive oil specifically uh, to the olive fruit, a very unique antioxidant that you uh, will, will get in our, our core and essential products and our My Health Pack, which is a customizable version of nutrients uh, packed in a cute little convenient pouch just for you. All right, so in a nutshell, our intelligence technology is very exciting. Um, this is uh, a unique formula of specific nutrients, a complex of nutrients that will allow uh, and support your cells to speak to each other as we call cell, we refer to that as cell signaling um, in a way that supports renewal at the cellular level. Uh, it's very exciting because often in the world of health and wellness and nutrition, we talk about nourishment and cellular protection or antioxidant protection. Um, but, it's, but what's very um, exciting right now is we're also looking at how to support renewal at the cellular level. And with the intelligence technology, we've been able to unlock that. So very, 
very, very cool cutting edge Vanguard stuff here. <laughs> All right, so uh, before we get into the key products um, based on performance, we're just gonna do a quick little uh, touch point on essential nutrition. It's very important to lay a good foundation um, before we get into optimization. And here you will see that we have you know, our cell essentials, which is really the flagship. This is the core of where we start with our essential nutrition. Uh, it's two bottles that work together, providing you, you know, advanced amounts of micronutrients, antioxidants, and minerals. One bottle specifically, uh, our core minerals, will provide you all the core chelated minerals that would work together with our uh, Vita antioxidant formula, which again is providing you the advanced amounts of uh, antioxidants and vitamins uh, to support your health on a foundational uh, and vibrant level. All right. Now, I apologize. I just wanted to also um, uh, emphasize, you know, the power of customization. We have. Um, technology and the opportunity to create a my health pack for you we all have different needs of course we all have different lifestyles um, but this is how we can personalize and customize a combination of key nutrients and uh, foundational and optimized uh, op optimization uh, through these uh, unique uh, uh, pillow pouches that you can take with you on the go uh, makes it very convenient it takes all the you know complications let's say or the complicated stuff out of it where when do I take it how do I take it how much do I take all of that's done for you and customized in these am and pm packs now let's start with caffeine as as Richard um, you know shared the science behind the benefits of caffeine and how it supports you uh, as an athlete now our caffeine product is called our rev surge pack very unique because not only are we going to provide you a natural source of caffeine um, but we're also going to combine this with some really incredible nutrients and herbs that have shown to improve the body's response to fatigue and stress so the combination here that we're talking about is caffeine with korean ginseng rhodiola root extract and uh, a, a unique energy complex uh, that also has malic acid and citric acid uh, to support uh, the Krebs cycle. All right, so this is again going to help refuel the body's energy stores. So as Richard uh, shared earlier, you know that moderate dose of caffeine, and in our uh, pack here we have 80 milligrams, which is right around that moderate dose. But then we are in. Uh, utilizing in conjunction to the Korean ginseng, the rhodiola, which also has shown to reduce cortisol levels, um, and with the uh, the energy complex, this unique Rev Surge pack is absolutely next level when it comes to supporting your athletic performance and um, even recovery. All right, so there are no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, and no artificial colors. This makes it very clean. Um, and again, this is important because often I find the uh, beverages or drinks out there that are designed to create, let's say, a stimulant effect or, uh, you know, support your performance, whether it's uh, an energy drink or a caffeinated drink, tend to sometimes have heavy amounts of preservatives, additives, and all the things that really are not good for our health. So uh, our surge packs are powder. They come in these little uh, pre-measured sticks that you just rip open and add to your water makes it very easy and convenient and you're not worried about you know lugging around something heavy or bulky um, it just it, it's really wonderful for athletes to be able to throw one of these in their back pocket or into their gym bag or into their sports bag and have it uh, to their disposal whenever they need all right now glucosamine um, very unique, again, our formula with our, uh, you know, award-winning, I'd say, and probably our fastest acting uh, product, which is called Procosa. You can see here the key ingredients. Uh, we have the glucosamine, the Merva, bioavailable curcumin, uh, vitamin C, and uh, manganese, which again, come together to create a really cutting edge formula. The science behind Procosa has been absolutely 
life-changing for myself and many of my clients. Um, you could see here, of course, it's going to support and maintain healthy cartilage and joints. Um, it's also going to encourage, because of the high-potency vitamin C blend, the production of collagen and hyaluronic acid, which is going to continue to lubricate your joints. Um, and also with the Mariva curcumin, the bioavailable curcumin extract, um, uh, comp, sorry, uh, formula. This uh, will allow for optimal absorption. The bioavailability, as uh, Richard was sharing, uh, really surpasses traditional curcumin. So here's where we're going to again support joint function and also um, give our, our connective tissues uh, and uh, cartilage formation that much more um, benefit and support. Now, the other minerals uh, and the manganese are also great for giving collagen its strength, and this is when uh, we're also now looking at how we can support the production of synovial fluid, um, and it also will, incredible. this is incredible science, guys, we're, we're also going to utilize this uh, this, these minerals that are attracted to heat to drive the glucosamine to more localized areas of inflammation in the body. So you could see why this is so, again, cutting edge science. We're bringing the best of the best. These are unique key ingredients and nutrients that supercharge and optimize each other. Um, it's just amazing uh, the results we get with Procosa. So what I love about our Cocunin 30 and 100 is we are now going to be able to get the best of coenzyme Q10 and benefits are in conjunction to the ALA, the alpha-lifolic acid. Uh, this formula, we have two options. We can, um, you know, uh, there's a 30 milligram and a 100 milligram. I'm highlighting the Cocunin 100 here, which has 100 milligrams of the coenzyme Q10 and 40 milligrams of the ALA. Um, incredible results and our formula specifically you could see on the left here uh, it's showing that just the baseline in the CoQ10 concentration levels following supplementation with 100 milligrams of our CoQ10 it's incredible to see how uh, effective and uh, the absorption rate is, is just it surpasses all the competitors so really really advanced uh, science again. Uh, so, so many benefits here. We are talking about robust energy production within the cell. This is literally fuel for the engine within your cell. When we talk about the mitochondria, uh, it's so important to fuel that engine. And this is where the CoQ10 and the ALA become incredibly powerful as a blend, a powerful antioxidant blend, as we call it. Um, we're going to support cardiovascular health, sound muscle function, and of course, healthy nerve function all right so this formula again for athlete performance is a definite game changer and as i said it's clinically proven to deliver this formula is clinically proven to deliver more coq10 to the to the blood um, than anything out there currently so electrolytes so many benefits to electrolytes and again richard did such an incredible uh, uh, presentation on the benefits uh, and what i love about our watermelon electrolyte uh, drink mix is that we're going to get a, a good amount of these key ingredients calcium 200 milligrams sodium 320 potassium 150 milligrams so you know this combination and, and it's got a really nice actual uh, refreshing watermelon flavor flavor that will quench the thirst um, it'll also support uh, of course maintaining energy and mental clarity um, and here's, you know, the, the key thing is we want to maintain healthy hydration levels and replenish, you know, these electrolytes, these min minerals that are lost in sweat. Okay, so very convenient, easy to take on the go. Again, little, little sticks uh, measured to the right amounts and you don't have to think about, you know, uh, taking along something big or bulky or a big bottle of some sort of electrolyte drink you just bring your water bottle and add this as you need it parents and and athletes i've spoken to just love that um, lastly again uh, it's not only what's in it but again it's what's not in it all those additives and artificial dyes and flavorings and um, sugars and all that stuff that we want to stay away from you're going to be sure that you're not getting any of that in our incredible electrolyte watermelon electrolyte drink sorry all right, now I just want to do a quick highlight um, with the fact that even though we're we're focusing in on key ingredients or key nutrients to support you as an athlete in performance, um, USANA does provide you know a great 
uh, amount of different key products designed to specifically support different systems from cardiovascular to the nervous system, cellular function, and digestive, uh, as well as endocrine, skeletal, and digestive. Sorry, I did say that, but wrong slide. And uh, we have specific products for different age groups, uh, for children to uh, body rocks, which is for the teens, use animals is for the little ones, uh, children ages, let's say one to 12. And then body rocks, we, we start now supporting teenagers from ages 13, right up until I would say 17. And then at the sort of 18 mark, we would get into the adult formulas. We also have omegas for children. And lastly, what we've done is we've made it quite simple and, and convenient, but just so you know, we are not about, you know, um, we, we really want everyone to know that customization and personalization is something we offer. Even though we have pre, uh, pre-made or pre-created programs based on age groups, we are not limited to that. We definitely are offering an opportunity based on, you know, who you are and your lifestyle and your needs and your, you know, diet and all of the above. Um, customization is something that we will offer. Uh, but here you could see our programs range. Uh, there's youth performance, teen performance, and adult performance programs. And then, of course, we have a repair and recovery pack and a tournament ready pack. So depending on, uh, you know, what's going to best suit you and where you're at, uh, here's how we will be able to serve you and make sure that all of your needs are met. I'll wrap it up uh, in a second and I'd love to just share a quick video um, from one of our uh, athlete uh, managers, uh, Eddie Howe. Uh, he's sharing a few words specifically on his partnership with USANA and how it's impacted them as a team. really hard and side by side you need the nutrition that goes with it I mean we could train as hard as we want but if we don't have the nutrients coming back into our body we're just going to break down you can imagine in our job we're presented with a lot of different products to try and um, experiment with and instantly with USANA I liked the way the messages were very clear you knew when you were taking the products that they weren't going to be contaminated it was going to be absolutely clean what you eat what you, what you put into your body it affects how you feel it affects your mood it affects everything you from the minute you wake up to the minute you get to sleep. So if you know the players are getting good nutrition, they're going to have lots of energy and, and be able to run, which in football is, is everything. If we can get an edge playing in the Premier League, then why wouldn't we? We want to be able to compete in there physically and make sure that we stay in there. All right, so if you would like more information, please reach out or you can book a complimentary health consultation through our website. Um, and I also want to uh, recommend that in the link below, you will have access um, to our, our main site as well as uh, access to our health programs. Thank you so much for joining us and for listening. We look forward to continuing this incredible journey of health and wellness with you and supporting your athletic um, career and journey. Have a wonderful day.